In this video I'm following on from the one before, I have imported my mesh from Meshroom into 3ds Max, however what would happen if I would want to trim away all of this excess environment or scene that I wouldn't need in my model. So I'm going to begin by applying a modifier from the modifier list to this and find edit poly yep, so you can see that the poly is so it's highlighted um, now we're actually just want to delete some of the material away You can see that if I highlight polygon and draw a rectangle along the corner, if I just press my delete on keyboard, you can see that I've deleted away some of the mesh. So this will be the easiest way to just draw around the rock, which we want remaining and not to forget this part down the bottom here. Okay, so I'm going to continue to delete all of the mesh around the rock that's a little bit closer. So I'm going to go uh, make sure that I've highlighted polygon, sub object, and just do the same sort of thing, but it's a little bit more controlled. It does lag a little bit. I'm filming. Um, I've switched the preview section from the sub object to off and then this is all clean and ready to be used in rendering software, you can export it as an OBJ file and use it in Blender or Enscape um, and to use these realistic 3D scans within your renders and your projects.